Hi guys, it's Katya here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is gonna be a little different from what I previously do. Today I will be reviewing a 34 watt Sensi light that they offered to send me in exchange for unbiased review. So little disclaimer. So everything that I will say regarding the opinion will be my own. I've tested this light for a few weeks now and I've gotten a general idea of how it works. So I will be telling you specifications, how it's built, how it's meant to use, some of the pros, some of the cons, and at the end of the video I will be sharing some info about perhaps maybe a giveaway, so keep on watching. For all the information that you want to get about this light, it will be linked down in the description below. If you are looking to buy a light, you can also get a 13% discount code, which is also stated down in the description box. So I think this is all and let's get on with the review. So this is the packaging where you receive this light. It's very minimal and there's not a lot of bulk carton happening, which can be a case with some of the products. You can see this is an A plus labeled. So nothing special about a box. I'm just gonna go and unbox it. Here is what you see when you open it. You get a thank you card. It says you're now a stellar VIP. And this is the packaging. As you can see, it really doesn't move much, which means that the light is greatly secured because to my surprise, it is very heavy. This is the size reference. We use cat for size because my hands are small and it makes the products look bigger. So a little information about the build of this light. As you can see, it has a lot of perforations all around the build, which is great to disperse the heat that can build up. This actually prevents overheating of this light. I've never really had any problems with it getting too hot because some lights that have like heat sinks, those can get really hot and I even burned myself on that. So that's a big pro of this light. As you can see, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It has seven bulbs, I want to call them. It kind of helps to disperse light in a cone-like shape. And the socket that it comes with, I use E27 socket just because I'm based in Europe and you can also get other sockets. So be sure to check the right one. And another thing that I was really surprised is how heavy this is in a good way, because it does really feel that it's not a cheap made, which some lights can definitely be. So a little bit about the specifications of this light. This is a 36 watt grow light that emits warm light. So the 40 watts should be equal to around 400 watts, which means that this light is low power but high intensity, which if you are in a plant community, you probably should opt for that because some lights can use a lot of power and that can become costly down the line. So this is definitely a great feature. All the lights that I use, I opt for low power and high light output. As you can see, it is kind of cone shaped. So the beam angle is around 60 degrees. Primarily, it's meant to be used from the upside down because I think that in this way it disperses the light most evenly. I haven't noticed that there were any spots where the light wasn't consistent so that's also a really good thing that you want to look in a grow light because some cheap grow lights can have spots where the light is weaker and spots where the light is stronger. Now this thing weighs 0.38 kilograms which I was surprised how heavy it was when I first unboxed it and it almost fell out so be careful don't make the same mistake I did. So this light is full spectrum. What this means is it will emit all the wavelengths that are in white light that you can see from the sun. The spectrum ranges from 400 nanometers, which is the blue wavelength, to all the way up to 780 nanometers, which is very down on the red spectrum. So it should cover all the wavelengths that a plant needs for growth. It can be used on foliage and flowering plants and now I've only tested it on foliage plants which responded great actually but more on that later. So this is meant to be used as a supplementary light. This shouldn't be your plant's only source of light. Now I haven't tested it but usually my plants will grow just fine even with low-end grow lights that are not meant for grow lights. I think you can definitely grow plants in a grow tent with this grow light and they'll be fine and happy and flourishing. It's meant for indoor use only. You shouldn't be splashing water on it. Of course, it's electricity. We don't want any fire hazards 
standard and the distance between the light and the plants depends on the intensity of the light you have so if you bring it closer to the plant the light will be more intense and more concentrated on smaller area but if you put it more higher up it will cover a wider surface and the light will also be less intense it depends what you're growing so if you are growing a lot of seeds and seedlings and all that you probably should want it to have closer just so they can utilize a lot of light because I feel like they really need it in those first stages of their life fun thing when I was looking for grow lights for my grow tent this was actually the second option that I was considering but I ended up getting Arcadia just because I needed to cover more of a lengthy space not so much of a circular space so this was the reason that I got that one so the setup that I've used and tried this light on was on my Adansoni farm greenhouse so Adansonis are I think a really great test subject because they need a lot of and I seriously mean a lot of light to maintain their silky white variegation because usually it can go minty if they're not given sufficient light they grow super fast so I would notice if their growth was slowed down but they definitely didn't slow down I think not I did use this as supplementary light so sometime back when there wasn't as much sunshine and daylight available we had the light turn on for 12 hours and then we moved to eight or nine hours just because in the morning they get great morning sun and they really appreciate it so the distance between Adansonis and the grow light was around 20 to 50 centimeters it depends where where Adansonis is placed inside of a greenhouse I want to point out that I was using it as a sideway type of illumination so it was illuminating this area right here and it wasn't used top down and now we are going to the proper review section where I will tell you about the pros and the cons of this light so the pros of this light is that it's very user-friendly you just take it out of the box you plug it into the socket and it's on. You don't need to do pretty much anything. You don't need any screws to mount it. As I mentioned before, it emits a warm type neutral light, which is my personal preference. And I know a lot of people also preference this just because it looks like a normal light that we use in our homes and not specifically crazy pink light. Here is the Sensi light and this is my older light that I've had for a long time. This one shines in more of a yellow light, which is around 270 kelvins. Oops, wrong one. So you can see it's yellow, nothing wrong with that. And if we turn on the Sensi light, it's more of a neutral white, which is around 4000 kelvins, which I really appreciate. I prefer this type of lightning over the cold white or the warm white. And another pro of this light is it doesn't overheat. I have burned my hands on grow lights before and it's not a fun experience. And if you have little kids or pets or anything that want to metal in it, it's safer for them. If the grow light doesn't overheat, it will also extend its longevity. And the Eden Sony did really appreciate it. I haven't noticed any slowed growth. However, I did notice that some of them have started to get more minty variegation, but I want to say that that could be due to the fact that I've recently changed my light setup, so that could be reason for that and not necessarily the light. And now we are going to be moving to the cons. Now, it's not really an issue, but it's something that you have to keep in mind is you will only be purchasing the light, so you will need to get something to fixate it on. So if you don't have any grow lights, because I could just use my old sockets, you will need to buy that first in order to use that light. But since it is a universal socket, you can use it on like um, desk lamps and all that. So you shouldn't have issues finding the right base. And I think where this light really excels is if it's pointing downward and it covers a big area or maybe at a sideway. But if you have more layers that you want to cover with one light, I just find that's not best used for that purpose. So if you have a lot of deeper shells that need illumination and you just want to blast the light from the side, it's not gonna reach to that end and you need to have enough space between the light and the plant so that it doesn't get scorched because at the end of the day it is pretty damn strong grow light. For me personally, I grow most of my plants in layers just because I like to optimize the vertical space as I don't have a lot of space. So it wouldn't necessarily be used 
in a growth tint on the shelves but if you were illuminating it from upside down that would be great and it would also be great to supplement the light here for my monsters during the winter so this is it for the review and now we're gonna talk about a giveaway so the giveaway will be hosted on my Instagram page, so be sure to head over my Instagram. For the price, you will be getting one of these 36 watt Sensi Grow Light. It's tested and it's Katia approved. And I will also be giving away one Philandron Glorious cutting. So this is a hybrid between Gloriosum and Melanochrysum. It is a decently sized cutting that I've recently cut and it's currently putting in water. And yes, I did tape it so it can stand nicely in the glass. Now the giveaway will start whenever I post this video. So you have a lot of time to participate if you want. A little disclaimer, only those that are from Europe can participate because I cannot ship to UK, I cannot ship to Sweden, I cannot ship to US and to other countries, so apologies for that, but UA only. Now, how to participate? You have to follow me, Erin Sonia, on Instagram. You also have to follow the Sensi Light on Instagram and like the post and write a comment with three other friends that you think would be interested in trying this light and share the post on your stories. And that's it. That's all you have to do to participate and maybe win those two prizes. So this was it for this video. Let me know how I did for my first review video because I've never done one of these before and I hope I managed to objectively present all the facts and my personal experience from it. So yeah, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and hit that notification button and I'll see you next time. Bye!